No, uh, use these tights. I, I I can ask my boys you want. I don't want to say no because I'm like, uh -huh. you know. I yeah, you know where him. he's at and see. Give me, give me color. Okay, I appreciate it. What is good, my good people? My name is Marvin. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, man, hit on that subscribe button. Crash the notification bell. Stay up to date with everything I got going on. It is highly appreciated. Uh, I got my 10 yard hooked up. I'm about to go dump it and take it to a to a customer. I'm trying to get these thousand dollar days back going. Got a quite interesting call yesterday from a customer who's doing some work from out of state. Uh, and yeah, they got nothing but wood pallets and they wanted to see about getting like two uh, 30 yard dumpster i told them i didn't have a 30 yard dumpster but when i what i do with that and what i teach a lot is if you don't have those sizes always offer a two a two like 15 yard two 16 yard special for the price of one i typically do those for like 550 600 but uh since it's going to be i don't got to unhook uh they're going to fill up right on the spot each dumpster and all i'm gonna do is uh take it over to the uh the pallet people who buy pallets and hopefully you know try to make extra profit on that so we can see how much uh we can make off of these uh couple, couple dumpsters today so so yeah so it's very interesting so make sure you guys stay tuned to that and um yeah let's get into it man once again I got this 10 yard man hooked up. I just dumped it and then the customer said they won't be there. So I can't bring it now. Uh, where I got the other customer with the pilots, they wanted it actually, they wanted it earlier, but I was trying to get to him earlier, you know, didn't call or nothing. And if you guys watched my last video, I kind of went, I kind of touched on this man. Like just, this is a little, little annoying stuff, man. Like uh, it's just so much, it's so much annoying stuff uh you know taking on this type of business man and i just i just don't want to i don't want to be teaching this because i i sell thousands of ebooks uh courses and whatnot and it's, it's just my duty man to uh to just let you guys know man like if you can't handle a little annoying and i know anybody who's been doing this over five years no no Anybody who's been doing this over six months can kind of relate, but uh, I don't want to get too too. I don't want to get all like that because it's not the, th that is not this type of video. I just did a video like that. Uh, if you guys start a dumpster rental business, it's a great business. It's a lot of money, but most of the times, uh, most com most businesses that you can start, where out the gate you can kind of start making like a lot of money. <laughs> You're gonna deal with like a lot of issues, with a lot of small annoyances, sometimes big annoyances. And it's a lot of attention to details, and it's a lot of stuff that can go go left real quick. So you know, I, I, I wasn't gonna add this in there, but I'm like, nah, I'm about to I'm, I'm about to just be truly transparent with this, man. So you guys ain't just like taking, you know, looking at the money and everything, and just look at the whole picture, but. So now I got a reroute, got a, lost about two hours, probably an hour and a half. I was at the landfill for about 30 minutes, but that comes with it. I, I'm still doing it. Ain't nobody forcing me to do it, so let's get to it. I'm on Buckeye campus, and uh, basically, I might not be able to get no money off of these pallets. I will show you guys once they get the forklift here and get it rolling. For one, these pallets are like a lot longer i'ma still see but the guy told me once he uh put them in into the dumpster it may mess up the uh the pallets may get messed up and destroyed so i probably won't be able to reuse them anyway still this shouldn't be too much to dump but i was banking on um you know on getting that uh that additional money so if you guys can see the wood pallets back there and i'll show you guys once it get filled up so you know that comes with it you know like uh you might go to a place and a guy might tell you oh, i got all this scrap metal come to find out it's a totally different thing and you can't uh um you can't uh resell it or uh, recycle it so you know stuff like this happened but i'm still going to try so once the stuff is in there i am actually going to give uh the wood pallet guys a, a call now and see if they even take these type of pallets yo so i'm here now man i'm gonna show you guys the uh pallets 
I called up here and I told them they were like bigger pallets. I'm going to show you guys here in a second what they look like. Hopefully they're able to, to accept these. I don't even care. Like I care. I want to make the extra money because I want to teach you guys. You know, you can make extra money off of loads. But mainly I just don't want to have no dump fees. I think that'd be my, my win. My winning is when I don't have any dump fees. So, uh, so let's take a look at this load. So they actually filled, had to fill this up by hand. I guess the forklift driver was not there. So that's this type. I don't know if they accept them or not. But as you see, we're going to see. Seeing now, if you take those. Fingers crossed, man. You don't use these types. I, I I can ask my boys you want. I don't want to say no because only uh -huh. employees, you know. I yeah, you know where him. he's at and see. Give me, give me part. Okay, I appreciate you, bro. So they're not sure if they take these types. He said he's gonna get his boss. So you see all these other ones, man. It's mostly like the regular pallets, like the one back there. You know. So we'll see. So here it is open. He said he can do three, three dollars each one, man. I'm like, whoa. I wasn't expecting that. And I still got one more load to do, so we might make a good, we might come out good with this one. So he got all of them out. So I guess these two is just regular, uh, yeah, this is a regular prices. So I just stacked these small ones up. So they're going to do $2.50, $2.50 per for these small ones, man. This is my first time doing wood pallets and I didn't know it was like this, bro. These dudes, man, you know, making a killing. I mean, you can make a killing if you're dedicated to this, but so I got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for $2.50. I had a math on there. What is that like? What? Five, two times. So like five times four, 20 bucks. And then these bigger ones. I tried to uh, stack these up. That one is like, yeah. It's heavy for one person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I, I never, I never been here before. Okay, I need your ID. I got to put in the system. Okay. And that will take it like 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, just wait here? Yeah. Okay. Give me your ID. ID. Okay. <laughs> so I'm about to grab my ID. I'm at Counts too. If you guys are from Columbus and need a place to be, to dump, or to uh, recycle your, your uh, wood pallets, these dudes is these dudes top notch, man. Thank you, son. All right, man. Appreciate you, brother. So yeah, and then three dollars a piece for these. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So. You know, make almost 50 bucks. Yo, so this is crazy. So I got like 22, 50, like I told you, uh, just for like the regular pallets, no kizzy. So you guys know I ain't capping nothing. And then they gave me the 27 for them big ones. Mind you, um, they got two dumpsters and this is only one. And I gotta go back, I'm going headed back there now to do another load of the same type of uh, pallets. Plus, I made over $500 on just the dumpsters with no dump fees. Uh, actually getting paid for my dump fees. So, that's a triple entendre. You know, I'm getting paid three times for the same thing. So, man, this is the ups of uh, owning a dumpster rental business when you get days like this, man. Because I wasn't even expecting this. It's going right, you know. That's a, you know, that's, a, that's lunch, man. That's like little miscellaneous stuff, man. And it's basically free money. Yo, so yeah, I'm at the second one. I had to actually help him load it and it was all those big ones. So I'm going to do this one tomorrow, but I'm going to count them out for you guys because there's no damage to them. I'm just going to take them to the same spot tomorrow. It got to be at least, I'll have it on the screen how much it is. I'll count them when I drop it off in my yard. I got to get this 10 yard out to my guy. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we're just going to go from there. About to take a look.
<clears throat> what's all in here had like a piece of a little panel that's only like one so about oh, one two three four five six seven about eight or nine of the bigger ones that i get three dollars and fifty cents a piece from doing the last drop of the day and I want to reiterate, man, about this uh, this business. Yes, there are a lot of down points, a lot of uh, heartbreaks, tears, blood, mosquito bites. But the highs, man, always going uh, always for me um, outweigh the lows. Like today, you see, I got two loads. Um, I was blessed to do over a thousand dollars today. I got two loads where it was nothing but pallets, and I was not only able to uh to get paid from renting the dump dumpsters they chose my you know my company but uh also to get paid again for the materials that's inside man uh you know that kind of makes up for you know the hundred fifty dollar tires or the uh you know the uh lows that's like 190 to dump so it's gonna be times like that, and I just want to prepare anybody looking to start or encourage and continue to motivate the people who's already doing it. That when you be, when you come into these uh, to these pit stops or these uh, hardships, uh, just know that every business that we that you can ever start is going to come with some some level of of difficulty. But it's all about how you respond, and and it's all about you seeing. So saying to yourself, you know, is is it, is it something that you can overcome and something that you want to overcome and is it worth it if you do overcome? Majority of the time, you know, if you choose it, depends on your reasons for starting a business, but if you choose it for the right reasons, you know what I mean, uh, it's usually a good idea and, and it makes you just feel so much, so reward, it's, it's so rewarding uh, once you overcome those obstacles and it starts going on a high plane. Oh man, I'm talking too soon, bro. It's like, nah, I'm playing. I had to get you. Got to stay on, your, got to stay on point. What I hear. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much all I got. Hey, let me know in the comments if you guys ever had any dumps like that. The triple entendre. That's, that's the name of those. I call them the triple entendres because you're getting paid three different. You get, you're getting paid on the same thing three different times, and it's a different meaning three different ways. So, uh, yeah, leave it in the comments what you guys uh, think. Uh, some of your experiences. Uh, you know, doing that and, uh, you know, hit me with any questions you may have and, you know, let's get to it. Let's continue to get this trash money and, uh, yeah, let's go. Appreciate you guys. Peace. Let's get this trash money.